just just look in the mirror. I'm gonna talk through the mirror actually. So your job will be to control what's going on with your whole body, which you will be quite surprised, you know, sometimes when you actually see yourself in the mirror. Mm. Um, and the breathing is something that you need to learn and to complete your control consciously you have to know exactly what's going on with your breathing for a while until it goes the theory of 100 works and we move it after you've done it 100 times that's the theory of 100 you know? after you've done anything around 100 times it becomes automatic or it goes to our subconscious and then it stays there for the rest of your life okay mm -hmm. So for now, you need to look in the mirror and make sure that you don't do a couple of things that are actually distracting you from the proper breathing. So first, of course, you need to completely relieve any tension in your uh, shoulders and chest, okay? Because there is nothing in your shoulders or chest can support your voice or help you singing, okay? There's just muscles, yeah? So we have... Um, a, a, was the, the name the food track you know which goes to the to our stomach basically it's completely different organs in this part of the body mm -hmm. that we can't really use for singing mm -hmm. we need to breathe deeper you the know diaphragm. absolutely so where is the diaphragm then it's like there, right? it is underneath of your lungs yeah okay so it's kind of you know, it, it level more or less mm -hmm. correct maybe slightly lower but it is horizontal mm. it's not kind of on the edge of your tummy like lots of people think yeah okay there are other muscles in our tummy and are in our back which when you will be using diaphragm you will feel them those muscles but this is not it's not actually the diaphragm diaphragm based right under under our lungs okay mm. And the function of diaphragm goes up and down, up and down, okay? But then another additional movement that you will see if you breathe correctly is that reflection of some of the muscles of your tummy. So when diaphragm will go down, your tummy goes up. Mm -hmm. Sorry, your, your tummy goes out. Yeah. Okay? <laughs> and, and nowhere else. Mm -hmm. And when your diaphragm goes up, your tummy goes in okay and that's what has a good news because this is how we can watch it and control because otherwise it would be very difficult to know what's going on with diaphragm we cannot physically see it but we can see some of the muscles that if they're moving in the right direction we know that the diaphragm actually on the right track okay so what happens there is the first simple thing we need to learn is to breathe in correctly <laughs> okay right. and despite you know how to breathe to talk when you sing the side of the brain that's responsible for uh, talking and breathing for talking turns off mm -hmm. and another side of the brain that's responsible for singing turns on which has not a clue unless you've learned it okay mm -hmm. so when you already give the message to your brain okay i'm going to sing now Mm. your brain basically it's like empty memory stick you know you need to put there some information how to breathe correctly because at this moment you know it's um, cha chaotic mm -hmm. okay so let's just make sure that you breathe in correctly okay. so when you breathe in you fill up the air mm -hmm. fill up your lungs with the air right yeah and they ex ex expand so when they expand, diaphragm goes down, mm -hmm. down and up. out. That's right. That's what we need to see. We need to see that you do this kind of movement instead of this kind of movement. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now, why do we move like that? Why is it? Why shoulders and chest and bulk? This is emergency breathing. Okay. If we have a heart attack or shock or something, doctors will say, okay, deep breathe with your chest and shoulders. This is emergency. And this is why, because your brain doesn't know how to do it normally, mm -hmm. it turns on emergency kind of breathing. 
which is a not good idea, but this is the only thing that brain knows at this moment. Okay, mm. so we need to replace this emergency breathing. <gasps> I don't know how to breathe, but I will breathe at emergency. Okay, to support my voice, we need to replace it with, yeah, I know how to breathe. It's a low, blah, 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 blah. Like yeah. what we're going to learn. Okay, so this is how we're breathing into your tummy. Mm. And you need to make sure that all this part is completely relaxed. Another reason why we have to make sure it's relaxed is that there are two big set of muscles okay that goes like that across and kind of come here okay if you breathe with the with the chest or shoulders they tense okay mm. this is what happened right <clears throat> and then it goes around our neck and it affects uh, our throat in that way that it's become tense and this is why some singers, when they go on the stage and they um, breathe very high, they have what? Shaky voice. Yeah? So this is the reason, because he, they breathe in this area, tension creates, you go on the stage, adrenaline comes to the system, you go, you go a little bit like that, and voice get shaky so to remove shakiness in the voice the deeper you breathe the more relaxed comfortable uh, and confident your sound is okay mm -hmm. so when we breathe in correctly then now we need to learn how to breathe out correctly which is okay so simple as that but the problem is you can do it uh in this kind of environment relax your brain is focused on that mm. but what you need to learn is just to move that kind of healthy exercise uh, healthy singing uh, healthy breathing which we will be practicing in the exercises and then this trans trans um, uh, transmission if you want is to bring that kind of healthy breathing into your songs okay mm. that will be the hardest and the longest kind of process because of course once i will uh, explain you how to breathe how breathing works you will be doing it you know okay you will understand what to do and how to do it mm -hmm. but then you need to reach that automatic level on the exercises and then move the that kind of techniques new techniques from the exercises into the songs this is where the challenge real challenge comes mm -hmm. okay but for now let's just learn a couple of things first is um how can we control the breathing are we doing correct or we're not doing correct right well for that we have brilliant exercise which is lip trail okay yeah have you tried that before i have not tried it before <laughs> but do you know that <clears throat> pretty much any any body uh, around the world in in singing kind of music industry would actually use that technique you know they use this exercise because this is the easiest way to know that you're supporting your voice and the simple reason is that when you do lip trill it only will continue if you remain the same speed of the air going through your vocal cords mm -hmm. and this is what we need to achieve we need to make sure that you you, su you supply your voice with the air all the time not um, uh, you know um, kind of in chaotic way yeah. but all the time and that will provide the health of your vocal cords okay so every time you stop lip trail that means that you the, the, the speed of the air changed and you don't support your voice properly okay mm -hmm. so let's try this let's try it go that's good now can you do it uh, a little bit more in tune at the five notes next to each other and go okay three notes go very good. So where you are. Do it again. You, you can do it really well. Now 
let's just do five notes now. Go. Very good. Try not to do any additional movements, like you started to yeah. conduct with your head, and you don't need to do that at all. So we're going to simplify the process as well. Okay, whatever, when you do exercises, you don't involve any drama, right? You don't tell the story. You're just like a machine. Uh, warm up your body, warm up your vocal cords and tune them in the right way so then you can deliver well when you perform, right? Mm -hmm. So don't move any hair because you know the vocal cords, they're so tiny. It's like our thumbnail, the length, mm -hmm. very, very tiny. So every movement that you do while you're learning new technique, even though it will be small for you, small movement it's a massive it's like an earthquake for your vocal cords right mm -hmm. so uh try not to do it also it will help you to learn how to be in charge of your own body and your head okay so can you try go find a note I didn't give you the tone you pick the tone and the one the, the tone that you pick always the, the note mm. um, is, is the most comfortable one for you mm. right now so and you support it more or less good because your literal continue right mm. now let's go a little bit higher <laughs> That's right, that one. And go. Well done. Very good job. Now you did learn it actually. You did learn it because because I can see already that you 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 focus on your tummy, don't you? Mm -hmm. You do focus on the tummy and it works really well. Let's go higher. when you run out of the air yeah and when you run out of the air the speed of the air obviously reduced yeah mm -hmm. and this is when the lip trill <clears throat> stopped mm -hmm. very easy indicator like really brilliant indicator wherever you cannot do a lip trill that means you can you don't support your sound mm -hmm. so you can check now on that on, on any of your songs thinking okay am i supporting here Mm -hmm. or I use my muscles around the vocal cords mm -hmm. or you know do I push or whatever yeah. what you do you pick that particular part of the song and you go through it on the lip trail mm -hmm. and you will know exactly what's going on mm -hmm. and straight away you will be able to correct it mm -hmm. if you need to do it, ta -da, ta -da, yeah yeah or and you think oh I don't think it's supported you do and it just gives you exactly idea what's going on with your breathing mm -hmm. okay that's number one so lip trill massive you just need to practice it in any possible way i recommend to even to go through whole songs on mm -hmm. lip trill now will you will know exactly how much air you need for each phrase where you run out where you need to get strength stronger and all that kind of stuff okay 
another another consonant that is absolutely brilliant for singers mm. is the v. Mm -hmm. Say very. Very. That's right. So v. Mm. Do. Mm. That's right. Exactly. That's what you need to do. And we're gonna do it the same thing. <coughs> now we know for sure that if you wherever you can do v sound, you can do the full voice mm -hmm. on that note. Okay. So that's also a great indicator. If you need to develop your range, for example, mm -hmm. you need to run this V on the whole range, okay? So let's try. Go. That's very good, but why do you shake your head? I don't know. <laughs> You, you know now that there is certain movement that absolutely we don't need it mm -hmm. for exercises so we're gonna have to remove it from the exercises now show me that you're in charge of your body now and your head particularly and do it without shaking your head and go that's really good but you need to make sure that you give me a proper buzz you know, nice and loud. Sometimes you have li um, tickly lips from this exercise, which is great indicator that you do it well. Two, three, go. Very good. Can you feel that the how much air you need for this to mm -hmm. make it properly? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that how much air we need to support the voice. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you learn it by doing these exercises, you're learning how, how fast the air has to go, you know, through the vocal cords. Um, I call it, everybody, call it uh, air compression. So air compression has to, on the exercises, remain the same, okay? However, when we do songs, we need to use all the different air compressions. So it's like a collection you will need to gain collection of different air compressions mm -hmm. and work with them in a very flexible way. Mm -hmm. So you have to swap from one air compression to another one mm -hmm. pretty much quickly, still supporting your voice. That's the whole idea, okay? So you already learned lip trill, that's one air compression, and now we do V, that's a different air compression. Mm -hmm. Combining them will give you this flexibility in your singing, okay? Go higher. Go. Three times. Two, three, go. Ah, I saw your shoulders. It was like that. You know, you started like that. You see? So you have to be very strict to yourself. Yeah? At the beginning, until you pass those theory of 100. Yeah? Do it 100 times correctly, and it's yours. Okay. Okay? Two, three, go. Absolutely, well done. Okay, so those two absolutely essential exercises to start with. It's like a baby learn how to walk, you know. Mm -hmm. Before we do running, somersaults and anything else, we just need to learn how, how we solidly and comfortably walk, okay. And that's it. those two exercises are the beginning of everything in singing, okay. As I say, that two... Uh, We've learned just two different air compressions and mm -hmm. combining them is actually the key, you mm -hmm. know, for the flexible singing. Then we will do my famous exercise that called power exercise, okay? Mm -hmm. So in that case, we're already combining quite a few of those air compressions and we need to switch on, as I say, it's like changing gears, mm -hmm. all right? So we change the gears very, very quickly without affecting the sound. Sound has to keep going, mm -hmm. yeah, like car goes, and then gears change and, you know, we don't stroll. <laughs>